Hi everybody, my name is Savannah and I am an SLP grad student at ETSU and our program has decided to make some videos to help you guys who are at home with your speech kiddos so that we can provide you kind of with some things to do while you're at home since school has been out for a while. Um, I wanted to start today by talking to you about easy things you can do with Mr. Potato Head and there are, I've got seven different ways that you can use Mr. Potato Head at home. So this will show you how you can use it for labeling, pronouns, following and giving directions, um, prepositions, expanding language, requesting, and articulation. So this can be used for all kinds of different age groups and different things depending on what kind of things you need to target with your child. So the first one is labeling, and that one is simple. So we would just say that this is the body. Um, when we pick this up, this would be the arm. We've got a mouth, so it's just having your child label the things that they're using. Um, another one would be pronouns, so sorry for the dog. Another one would be pronouns, and that would be making sure that the child is using he has an arm, he has a mouth, or if you have the woman, Mrs. Potato Head, you would want to make sure that they're using she has blonde hair, she has so forth and so on. Um, another one would be following directions, so you could give your child the directions, you could say... Um, first put on an arm then put on the blue shoes and so you would just want to ensure that your child is doing it in the directions that you've given them and then to make it fun for them you could switch it around and have the child give you directions so that you could put Mr. Potato Head together in the way that your child is wanting you to. Um, another one would just be uh, prepositions so put the green hat on Mr. Potato Head's head Put the eyes under the nose. Put the arm on the side of Mr. Potato Head. Another one would just be expanding language. So if we say that he has blue shoes, you could expand that and say Mr. Potato Head has two blue shoes. If they say he has an ear, you could say Mr. Potato Head has two pink ears. Um, so just kind of going off what they're telling you and making sure that you're expanding that just a little bit. Another one would be requesting. So simply just giving them the potato, using wait time and asking or giving them the opportunity to ask you for items to put on their potato. So you could take all these items off, keep them kind of out of reach so that they can't just grab for them, and then giving them the opportunity to ask. And when they ask, if they say, I would like a pair of shoes. If you've got two options, you could kind of encourage them to be specific. Do you want the blue shoes or do you want the green shoes? Um, sometimes this can take a little bit, but if you just give them some wait time or if they're not really requesting, you could always give them the option, what do you need? And make sure that they kind of know that you're waiting on them. And the last one would just be articulation. So if you've got a kiddo who needs to work on articulation, you could kind of give them the if it's SH, having them work on shoes. If it's the R, arm, a round nose, a green hat. So just kind of targeting the words that they need and making sure that they're articulating correctly. So I will be hanging out in the comments and if you all have any questions about any of these activities, let me know and I will be responding back and forth. Um, and if you do this, we really wanna see you all as families putting these together. So if you can take pictures of your kiddos and you guys working on these and post them below, that would be awesome. Thank you, bye.